At the beginning of the war I was offered three times to leave the country. I refused even though I don't consider this land and these people my own. You say that each of us must decide for ourselves who our people are, where we will live, under what gods, and in what status. But what to do when my whole being is drawn to wandering, when I want to visit everywhere, and I don't want to stay anywhere. I just can't live any other way. How do I determine who my people are and where I should live? Since the pandemic began, I've felt an incredible thirst for adventure and travel, and stability depresses me greatly. Does this mean that the algorithm for finding my own place and my own people has started to work? Or is this a manifestation of my Dionysian nature? What might be the consequences for those who follow this path in the context of the trials we are going through? Yes, colleague, that's right. It could be a need to find your own people because you haven't found them yet and they are not on the same land as you are right now. Or it could be that the only ones you can call your own are the gods of the road. In that case you will never stop anywhere, you will just keep walking the roads knowing that every day it will get harder and harder to do so. Maybe you will pave new paths or forest trails, maybe you will smuggle through untraveled roads. Your future destiny may be completely different. About 99% of people have to find their place. Sooner or later you will find it too, because either you will end your life on this path, or your path will take you somewhere. It could be both. All the signs of the last few years should have shown you this. The desire to travel may be nothing more than a desire to change places. But if all the factors together tell you that there is no friendship or love for you anywhere, no walls seem to be home, no water seems to be tasty, no bread seems to be baked enough, you always need something more and different, and above all you don't want to return anywhere, then perhaps your path is one of wandering. And if not, if you just think the grass is greener on the other side, then you just haven't found your place yet. And you should find it before it's too late. Evaluate your own life of the last three years, analyze all the signs, all the keys, all the symbols, all the effects of the mysteries. Analyze absolutely everything that has shown you where, why, how, and what you are drawn to, and maybe it will help you find what you need.